Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing Draken from Tokyo Avengers, his sort of intense rage face, right? So it's that scene, um, I think it was episode 21 or episode 20, I can't remember. But um, you know, he sort of turns to the camera and he's looking all intense. So it's pretty cool. I'm on landscape orientation page, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast and take your time trying to have fun. That's the main thing. So center point of my page is about here. Come down over to the right hand side and we'll start with eyes. So a lot of detail in the face because we're so close up. So we'll go curve line there first. Then the eye will come across this, the eyelid. So this is like the eyelid line coming across his eye, right? And it hooks up to the top here. And then this will be like a double line, basically. And you spike it back to there. And you're gonna color this in black, right? So you gotta thicken up his eyes, because we're so close up. You gotta make them super thick. We do the same for this one. So that's basically his what his top eyelid looks like. Okay, when we're this close up on the character. Then, bottom hooks down like so. Just about there, and then we thicken this up. When it gets skinnier on the bottom and gets thick along the top. And then we will go in this direction, like so. Kind of down for the tear duct. So his eye, so iris, kind of oval shaped, right? Like this. So it's like, and it kind of doesn't close like that. And Draken um, doesn't have pupils. It's like a shaded gray. Like, so it's all sort of, it's got these scratch sort of lines. Just sort of crisscross kind of lines like this. And then there's like, it goes from like dark gray to light gray all the way down to the bottom of his eye. So we'll do his eyebrow. We're in three quarter pose as well. So we got like a small eye and a big eye. So if you haven't guessed, this is the big eye. So we'll do his eyebrow. Diagonal line there. This comes up. And down to there. And then we go into here. Back up. down like so. Then his eyelid there and there. So we got some more details around the eye now, right? So we got like another line just coming down from his eyelash sort of area there. Another line under his eye and then some lines just sort of for where his eye meets his nose, right? So we've got like some details like this. And there is lots of hatching. So like straight lines that kind of come across his face in various places. And then there's like blood and things and scratches and stuff. But we'll just get the main shapes in first before we do the scratches. So around his eyebrow then, we have some frown lines, so a line there. A line there, it kind of comes down front of his eyebrow. A line there for where his nose starts as well. So the nose on Draken, right? So it's right just over from the eye. It just starts sort of here, right? And it kind of comes down. Right. 
so it kind of curves out this way, curves to the tippy top of his nose. And then go diagonal back in. And then curve down, like so. And then we could have a nostril here. And again, there's like some hatching lines on the bottom of his nose here, just to show some shadow. Like that. Kind of unusual, but interesting. Still looks cool. Then we have a line just on the top of his nose. Sort of just here, with, with some hatching lines on it as well. So the small eye, right, is just in this sort of corner of his nose, right? So it's gonna go So like say his his nose will go up a little further towards his eyebrow. And the eyebrow starts about here. So then the eye starts about here. So we go up. Right, and we're going fairly like vertical. And I think, yeah, this line, so it comes around there. Right, and you can thicken it up as well. Not as much as the other side, because it's kind of like a smaller eye, so we'll thicken it up a bit. Right, so like that. So because we're in three quarter pose now, this eye is going that direction. So we're not like flat. Right, we're going up this way. All right, and we're not quite as big or as long as this eye. It's a little bit smaller, not as wide. Do you know what I mean? It's about three quarters the size, three quarter pose. And then the bottom of the eye comes down here. We'll just thicken this up. And then his bottom eyelid comes across in towards his tear duct into there. And again, his other eye, kind of long circle sort of shape, like so. And all you gotta do is add some hatching to the interior. So his eyebrow kind of comes up from his nose here. And so it kind of joins his eye. And then comes up like so. Into there. And then we will thicken this up just so we have a place to color in the eyebrow. That's there. Then we have a bit of an eyelid line and some more hatching and things and lines around his eye. So like a line around his eye here, there, like a face line or something there. All right, so then his mouth. So three quarters, so down underneath the nose, right? So we go, we have a small sort of bump first like that. And we got maybe a shadow just here along the bottom. Small bump here. Then it kind of curves like so. And then comes down this way. So he's looking real serious. The side of his mouth, sort of another shadow sort of area there. a line for the top lip or something there. His bottom lip, so just underneath. 
So like here. It goes down. Back that way. And some shadow. Underneath and some shadow along this side of the face as well. some shadow come out from here and here but it goes up around the side of his face so he's got like a big jacket right so it comes like out here and then comes cuts across his chin so we can't actually see his chin so it just goes like this way all the way along the bottom of my paper and I think it could go off my page I'm not quite sure but we'll we'll bring it to here first anyway yeah no I think it does I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it there. I think it goes off my page, but I'll wait for a minute just to make sure. So then, shape for his face, right? So that's the details mostly, right? So eyes to nose will be about the same as nose to chin, where his chin would be. So proportion wise, you know, this eye, if you're going vertically, would be about the same as nose to chin so eye to nose bottom of the nose about the same as nose to where his chin probably would be okay roughly and then nose to bottom lip about the same as where bottom lip to chin okay usually anyway that's the case with characters like this but that makes sense so nose just there bottom of nose to bottom lip about the same as nose to where his chin would be would be here so his jaw, his jaw comes out here, past his eye. Okay, so his jaw will come in, down to his chin. So we'll just check that again. So that will come down to the about there. Eye to nose, about the same as nose to chin. Yeah, and then nose to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin. So that's roughly your proportions for character's face. Right, so that's the jaw on that side. So then, can't see the jaw on this side. You can just see like the side of his face. So it goes up for his chin there. And it starts to curve out around his cheek. Right, so we go out here. And then it go, curves back in around his cheekbone here. And that curve just shows his cheekbone. Right? And then this goes out towards his brow, just at the top of the eyebrow. And then we get another curve going in this way. Okay, and then you can add some of the hatching that's on the picture, just here. It's like a little spot of blood there. Um, yeah, and then like, Lots of these scratch marks um, are like blood scratch marks and, you know, hatching. So I'll just add these now. So we've got like lots of these. Cuts and scratches. Some of these are done in red and pink, so you don't have to do them all in black or pencil. And there's like blobs of blood on his face. And some hatching here. Okay, so his ear then it's just here, your your jaw joins your ear. So it's earlobe here, and we've got an earring as well. So we've got like a earring goes in behind his earlobe, just here. Like so, and then the ear sticks out. Ears are a lot bigger than you think now when you're close up on people. So it goes up and around. Like that, sort of in line with the top of his eye. And then another eye. 
in there. Some hatching. Then we can see the back of his neck and then the back of his head. Curves up that way because he's shaved head on that side. Bones and ligaments on the inside of his ear. This kind of stuff. Every artist does this differently. Every anime nearly does this differently. So that's the way Tokyo Avengers does it. Then he has a ponytail coming off the back of his head here. So I think that collar does go off my page. So it goes like that way and then here. It's got like a bit of a lip on it there. And then it has a lip that goes the whole way around. And then there's some hatching here. And then it should come in around the back of his head here somewhere. Okay, so rest of his hair. So we have a long piece of fringe that comes down here, but then we have hairline, right? So hairline comes across his head here. And of course that tattoo on his head as well. Like this kind of stuff, right? So it's not really drawn in with spikes, but I think we need the spikes. small sort of spikes there, right? And there's a cluster in the middle. And then we have his long fringe sort of area that comes out this way. Goes real long. In the back of his hair. So it goes up that way in the front fringe area, goes off back this way. And some of his head just there. And then some like hairlines and texture lines and things just going all off. Kind of like this. Right, now we're gonna attempt this tattoo. So it's pretty complicated, so take your time. So it's like got a dragon's head at the top. And it starts with a little dot. There. Just sort of above where his ear connects with his head, right? Then, This is going to spiral around. Like that. And then this curves around.
down like so back to there and then comes back in so you got like a beak sort of thing going on and then we have a tooth just here some of these have different line weights as well so it's like heavier parts so like there's like thicker lines and thinner lines and things and then the bottom jaw comes out that way up to here back in So that's roughly the head of the dragon. And then we have a spike that comes out here. So then it has like all these twirling sort of symbols and stuff coming out. So one comes out here. Back to there. We color this black. To there. And then we have two more on top. slightly thicker in here it's the hardest part of his this whole drawing probably is his tattoo but we'll try our best like so and then we have another one slightly longer than the last one some thicker sort of areas and then he's a hand like a little hand that comes across here so goes to a spiral at the back, but it's got like one, two, three fingers. Like there. And then this goes to like a spiral back here or like a, a hook back this way. Hooks back down. This is like it's thinner as it goes down here. So this is like black inside. Like that. Right, so then we meet some more. So there's another one here. This goes up around the back of his head. And then this one comes down around here. Kind of like a Nike tick. And this is dark as well. And then we've like a spiral thing in behind his ear. Down to there. And then this comes down. Like so. 
So then, one that goes down behind all of these, right? So it's quite thin at the top, and then it gets thicker to here, and you have to leave a gap. Right, so you have to leave a gap between each black section so it's 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 like it's going in behind it but there's just like a white section that breaks it up like that right and then you color them Okay, but that's all we can see of his tattoo, and there might just be like some more hatching on his forehead here and under here. And uh, maybe, uh, um, no, that's about it. Is there any more scratches on his face, maybe? Um. All right, I think I'll leave it there. That's how to draw Draken Rage Mode. Hope was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.